Well, we all play, with the exception of Alice, we all play a lot of characters. I get to be a puppet, I get to be a minion, and then I also get to be a tap dancing oyster. I get to be all sorts of things. So my main character would be the Red Queen. I have performed this show before. I played the Red Queen um, in this particular production at Charlottetown uh, Festival last summer. And I'm really happy to be revisiting it again. And I'm especially happy to be revisiting it with so many pals from Edmonton and doing the show here in Edmonton. So the Red Queen is representative of Alice's mum. Only the Red Queen exists through the Looking Glass, in Looking Glass land. And they have a troubled relationship. They have something of a competitive and yet supportive relationship which I think can sometimes happen between parents and children, and in this case, sort of, Alice and her mom. I think that the rehearsal process of Alice Through the Looking Glass demands that all of, all of we actors remember what it was like to be seven and a half. We, t we, we literally talk about it in rehearsal every day. We tell each other stories every day from our own childhoods and try to access that part of our brains, not part of our hearts, again. You should see the rehearsal hall because it's absolutely jam-packed with props and set pieces. But they're props and set pieces unlike any other, you know, show I've ever done in a fairly long career because they're so, they're, they're so whimsical and strange and they come straight out of a child's imagination and they don't have to be literal, they're very representational and, and it's just, it's like being in a big playground a lot of the time. I think one of, one of the big things about this piece, and our directors have said this to us in the past, is that there's no cynicism in this piece. There's no room for cynicism. Cynicism is something that I think we largely develop as we grow older, but when we're seven or seven and a half, as is Alice, uh, hopefully we're not cynical yet. So if you can come to the theater and leave any cynicism you might have at the door, I think you're going to have a wonderful time.